channel. So I hope you enjoyed that little intro that you saw before. So that was shot by my really good friend Lawrence and I spent a little bit more time editing that portion or maybe I'm just very slow at editing but I hope you guys enjoyed it and today's video is going to be a how to style dunks as well as a farfetch haul because I picked up a few things this is one of them from farfetch so I thought I'll share it with you guys and also if you watched my last vlog you would have known that I picked up a few pairs of dunks as well so I thought it would be great to do like a how to style video because there's gonna be so many dunks dropping this year and you guys know that the dunk hype definitely came back last year and if you weren't able to pick up a pair last year because it was a little bit difficult uh, for most people this year is the year for you to pick up a pair of dunks because Nike will definitely be dropping them in a lot of different colorways and they all look so good and I want all of them so yeah I thought I'll share um, some outfits in case you guys are interested wait where am I going with this anyway <laughs> I have some dunks to show you guys so these are some dunk highs from last year this is the varsity maze I have the Spartan green and then my most recent dunk high pickup would be the vast gray colorway and then in terms of lows um, the ones that I got from last year that I wear the most would be the Kentucky, the University Red, as well as the Syracuse. And I have an outfit featuring the Syracuse dunks because I love them so much. And then my most recent pickup in terms of this year's dunk would be the Panda colorway as well as the Coast colorway. So yeah, let's just get started with this video because you know, we just started and I feel like I'm a little bit all over the place already. So let's start off with this bag that I got from Farfetch. And by the way, um, you guys know that I have a 10% off discount code with Farfetch. So don't forget to use it when you check out. If you end up picking up any of the pieces that I mentioned or like anything from their site, feel free to use that discount code. Anyway, back to this um, Supreme bag I picked up. So this was a release from last year. It is the Raffia Supreme tote bag. It does come in red and a lilac color as well, but I decided to go for the black colorway because I just feel like it looks very clean and I love like the bold Supreme branding. It is a tote bag and it is sort of a medium size. I think this would be great if I had somewhere to go to and the only place I go to is the grocery store so <laughs> this would be a great bag for me to take to the grocery store and then inside here like look at this I have this fluffy green jacket and you can see that in my video wait did I show you what shoes I'm wearing in the video I'm wearing my ambush dunk highs and I just love these so so much and they released towards the end of last year if you don't have the ambush highs you can definitely wear the panda dunks as well with this outfit and I feel like it would definitely go really well because it is a black and white colorway you can't really go wrong there but these are just such a nice pair of sneakers this is definitely one of my current favorites anyway back to this jacket it is a fluffy green faux fur jacket from Nike that I picked up from Farfetch and it is the softest faux fur jacket and I got this in a size medium it does fit a little bit oversized as you guys can see in the b-roll but I just love this super vibrant green color and I don't have anything like this bright in my collection you guys can see when you have this zipped up you can see this like huge Nike swoosh across the jacket I think the fit is really great it does say that it is a slight oversized fit and I kind of just went by the photo of the model on the Farfetch site and I'm like if this person's wearing a medium I think I should be a medium and it fit really good but I mean they're really great with their like return policy so don't even stress if you get the size wrong but I highly highly recommend this Farfetch jacket it is so fluffy I don't know whether you guys can see how soft this is just trust me like I just want to like <laughs> stay hugging this jacket all day and anyway let's move on okay i can talk about that jacket all day so with that outfit i'm wearing this like nike mmw t-shirt you guys will notice that i tend to wear a lot of my like older stuff i don't know why but i just love this nike t-shirt because it's just minimal it has a little nike 
swoosh on the front as well as MMW which is Matthew Williams and then on the back of the t-shirt I love how it has this swoosh on the right shoulder and I think it paired really well obviously it would pair well with what I'm wearing because I'm wearing like the Nike ambush dunk so it would make sense to wear a Nike t-shirt and then also I am wearing my Elix necklace Sorry, it's just in my bag here. And I am wearing my Elix necklace. I picked this up like quite a while ago. I'll try my best to list and link every single thing that I mentioned in this video in the description bar below so you guys can check it out. But I'm wearing this Elix necklace because again, I was wearing the MMW t-shirt which is Matthew Williams so Elix would make sense as well as my Elix backpack which is this one over here you guys can see it has this really nice like buckle detail on the shoulder straps and there's actually still stuff in here from the shoot <laughs> the other day I haven't even cleared out my bag so that is the first outfit and of course as I mentioned before I was wearing my Nike ambush dunk highs and I'm just really, really happy with these sneakers. The pink colorway is actually releasing on the 4th of February and I will definitely try to get my hands on a pair of those because I, first of all, I love Ambush so much and yeah, the pink colorway looks great. I have nothing like that in my collection but I have to say the black and white is definitely a little bit more versatile and then with my pants, I'm just wearing my Uniqlo pants that I wear all the time and it's a little bit old <laughs> so probably cannot find a link for it but I'll try and find some alternative as well to link it down below um, and then wait I want to show you guys something this bag I've shown you guys the bag it is very good but inside my bag look at this <laughs> I put it in there to show you guys because today I went to Kohl's and I managed to find the very last bottle of the Perea is that how you say it? Perea Murakami Colat. I've been looking for this water bottle like with the Murakami design for like the last month I would say because I saw someone posting on Instagram here like they're based in Australia and they posted this a month ago so every time I go to the supermarket I will definitely check out the water bottle section because I've been wanting this for so long and when I went to Kohl's today there was only one left and I managed to get it and I'm super super happy so I'm really hoping they restock because I asked the guy um, at Kohl's today and I was like are you guys restocking but he didn't really like look at me and he just said no <laughs> so I don't know I'm not too sure but I will definitely check out Kohl's again tomorrow and if I can buy more I will because look at this I just want to like fill my fridge and my cupboards with this water so if anybody comes over not that anyone comes over you can drink my Murakami water but anyway okay enough about that so I'm so distracted guys so that is the first outfit let me put this somewhere and then oh my god oh my god wait did the light get really weird sorry I chucked my jacket onto the like wires and it started flickering a little bit I'm so sorry about that okay so the next thing that I want to show you guys this is the next thing oh my god you guys I had to turn off the light because like it was making a really really weird sound and then I started smelling like something burning and I feel like there was something wrong with that light let me try and figure out this lighting situation because I'm 100% sure I cannot use this soft box that I have here I can see that the plug that's like it's kind of melting it's so weird that was very dangerous so hold on <laughs> give me one moment I'll be right back so I'm back and the lighting does look different because I have to swap out the soft box that I had before that's here because it it's definitely not usable there was like a burning smell it's very concerning but yeah I'm not gonna use that anymore so I swapped it out so hopefully this looks okay but as I was saying the next thing I picked up is this ambush jumper and as you guys can see it is in this black and white colorway and I really like how it has this sort of contrast panels here and okay the main reason why I bought this was because I wanted to match it with my ambush dunks because this is black and white 
So this is black and white and I think it would look really good. I also had the pink ambush dunks in mind as well so I think it would pair perfectly with this jumper and as you guys know I love ambush as a brand so I had to get it and in terms of sizing I got this in a size 1. It definitely fits a little bit oversized. Size 1 is a size small for ambush and yeah I think it looks really good. It does have these little like string things on the sleeves. I don't know if you guys can tell but I think it looks quite cute but it's definitely like just dangling there so maybe don't wear this if you're cooking because it might you know fall into your food or it might catch on fire or something but I think it is quite a cute detail you can also see it on the hem of the jumper and in terms of the material it's really nice because the white parts is sort of a thicker sweatshirt material and then with the black panels on the jumper it is like a knitted material it does look like a little bit see-through here but it's not it's just like the light is shining through it but it is super cozy super comfortable and because it's black and white you can't really go wrong there and would highly recommend this i feel like they might have this in a different color on their site but i'm not too sure but yeah you guys should definitely check this out and then what else should I show you guys next? Okay, let's move on to the next outfit. So the next outfit, I'm wearing another Nike jacket. So this is a faux shirling Nike jacket and it is in this like nice cream color and this is again super soft. It is a little bit more on the crop side and this one I got in a size small. So I would say it does fit a little bit oversized because generally with women clothing so this is under the women's line generally with women clothing i go for a size medium but again <laughs> on their website the model was wearing a size small so i was like if you are a size small i i think i might be a size small too so yeah i went for a size small perfect fit really love it i love the little zip detail here because it has a nike swoosh and you can also see another nike swoosh here next to the pocket and then at the back of the jacket there is another nike swoosh embroidery i don't know what is it about this nike jacket as well but i love it so much and of course because i'm wearing nike dunks it would make sense to wear something nike so yeah this is the faux shirling jacket it does come in black as well so i am thinking about picking it up and i think the black one has a white contrast swoosh i think i can't really remember but when i was looking at the site i decided to go for this color because i have way too many black jackets and then under the jacket i am wearing my like ambush t-shirt and this is from 2018 so it is very old and the only reason why i wore this was because i wanted to pair it with my coast dunks so you know this is blue so i wanted something blue so i wore this together and i think it is quite a good look and this is of course the coast dunks i showed you guys in my last vlog and look at how cute this is so i added the little murakami flower and it is a perfect color match because like look at the tone of blue but anyway this is the coast dunk so i wanted to wear something blue so i did wear my ambush t-shirt but actually if you have the kentucky dunks as well i think this could be a vibe but back to this t-shirt because this is so old, I don't know if you can tell, but it is a little bit faded because I got this in 2018 when I went to the ambush store in Tokyo. So I feel like I needed a new ambush t-shirt, so I picked up another one from Farfetch. So this is the updated version and I got it in the same size. So I got this in a size 2, which is a size medium. So I ended up going for the same size in this new ambush t-shirt that I just picked up and I wore this in my last vlog if you guys want to see what it looks like on but it is an oversized fit and I love how there's the ambush branding at the back is a lot larger of course but then on the front it's quite minimal so you can see it just has ambush on the center front and I love how the collar is like a little bit thicker than your regular t-shirt and in terms of the fit like I mentioned before it is a little bit oversized I know Noticed in comparison to my older ambush tee, the new version definitely 
like it's a little bit longer and the sleeves are slightly longer as well like it seems to be a little bit more of a boxy cut so i reckon if you don't really like an oversized fit then maybe just go true to size if that makes sense because this is a unisex tee and yeah i gone for a size medium but i love how it looks it comes in a bunch of different colorways but i picked up the pink because again i had the pink dunks in mine so yeah, hopefully when I do get those pink ambush dunks, I can wear this t-shirt with those dunks together. But yeah, such a good t-shirt, really can't go wrong there. And I already know that I love me an ambush tee, so I know I'll get a lot of wear out of this t-shirt as well. Um, and then, what was I talking about? I was talking about this jacket. Okay, that outfit, <laughs> the pants I'm wearing, you guys tend to ask me a lot about the pants that I wear and I seem to always wear the same ones so this pants here I paired it with the coast dunks because again I feel like the colors work really well with the cream colored jacket these beige pants and this is from a brand called Reigns I featured this in one of my older videos one of my like older farfetch hauls and yeah it is like quite affordable as well and plus you have 10% off you know save some money so I highly recommend these pants and yeah they are unisex as well and I got this in what size am I wearing I got this in a small medium and you can see it has this elasticated waist it's super comfortable and it is more so like a wide leg pants um, if you guys watch my video you know that I usually only wear wide leg pants or like I don't wear like skinny kind of pants I think it is such a nice combination with these pants and the coast dunks and I think that is all that I wore in that outfit but this pants you can pretty much wear it with any dunks it will look good hold on let me <laughs> this is so unprofessional okay let me hold up like look at this if you wore it with the vast gray dunks I feel like this is such a vibe. You can't go wrong. Like you need a pants in this color if you don't already have one. Anyway, moving on to the very last outfit. I'm trying to grab my jacket here. The very last outfit. I'm actually wearing one of the pieces right now. So I got this Supreme jumper from Farfetch and I realized they actually have a lot of Supreme pieces and the thing is just shipping. I cannot get over how fast their shipping is every single time. Like I placed my order on Tuesday night and then I got the items on Friday. And this came from like the state, so very, very on point. But anyway, in that outfit, I am wearing this Supreme jumper. It is in a size medium. And as you guys can see, it's a little bit oversized. And also, I wanted to show you guys this necklace. Wait, let me come closer. Look at this. So this is actually a collab between JD. I'm sure you guys follow him on Instagram. He always takes photos of his grandpa and he collaborated with a jewelry company and so I'm wearing it because I, I love it so much. So you guys need to go buy this as well because I love it. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. I wasn't even wearing this necklace in the video but I just got this a few days ago and I thought I'll wear it here because I feel like it pairs really well with what I have on right now. But back to this jumper wait yes i told you this is supreme in a size medium and i wanted an orange jumper to pair with my syracuse dunk so this one i picked up last year and you can see that i've worn it quite a bit but i absolutely love it but i wanted an orange jumper to pair with my sneakers because i feel like that is how i plan my outfits i generally think about what sneakers i want to wear and then i style from feet upwards if that makes any sense at all but i love the dunks so much i think the sort of simple color blocking works really well and i think they just look super timeless and it doesn't matter what color you have i feel like they're just really great wardrobe sneaker essentials and you definitely need a pair if you don't already have one or you need multiple pairs i'm getting a little bit off topic so anyway these are the Syracuse Dunks and like I said, I wanted an orange jumper and then on top of the jumper, I'm wearing this Fear of God bomber that I got ages ago. Some of you guys asked me and this is from the fourth collection. Here you guys see the tag is quite wrinkly and old and I probably need to cut off this little string. I really love combining like an olive green with orange because I feel like it just it's just a great color combination in my opinion. I actually have my eye on this green Sakai shirt that they have on the site. 
And I just feel like it looks so good because it looks like a shirt but Sakai is known for their layering details so on like the sides of the shirt it looks like a bomber jacket. I'm sure you guys can tell from the photo but look at it! <laughs> I feel like that is definitely on my wish list and if I had that I would have definitely paired it with this orange jumper but I decided to wear my Fear of God jump. Wait this is not jumper. I decided to wear my Fear of God bomber instead because I just really wanted to go with that color combination because I think this this is a look. And then with my pants, I am wearing these new pants that I just picked up recently. And it is from a brand called Stan Ray. My friend recommended it to me because I was telling him that I'm like after some new pants because the pants that I show you guys are usually quite old and you know, <laughs> it'll be good to update my wardrobe a little bit. So I decided to go for Stan Ray. This is a unisex pants as well and I love it so much. The style is definitely more so like a like worker pants kind of vibe, kind of like that Carhartt kind of style and I really love it. And what else do I want to tell you guys? Oh, so because it's new, it is very, very stiff. But I love the cut of it. And also, this is called the OG Painter Pants. And I really love the details on the pants. You can see there's a lot of paneling here. And then on the other side, there's this little like tag. Like, what, do you, what would you call this? This little pull thing. I feel like there's probably a functionality aspect to this because it's called the painter pen. So I think maybe they drew inspiration from like painters. Somebody please tell me. I should have done my research before I tell you guys about this pants. But yeah, if you're after some new pants, I also recommend you guys check this out. So uh, yeah, that is pretty much everything that I've picked up recently. And well, not, not everything, but those are my new pickups and that is how I styled them with the dunks. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming this video. And yeah, of course, you know, you guys know that I'm loving all the dunks at the moment. And next week, the medium curry dunks will be dropping. I think those look really good. So I'm definitely going to try to get my hands on a pair of those. Um, I think there's a pair of dunk highs as well. Uh, some Jordan 4s. Um, so yeah, <laughs> those are all the upcoming releases. If I do end up getting a pair, you guys know that I will unbox them here or you know do a little vlog if I do end up going to the stores. The next video I'm planning to shoot is going to be all about dunks. I know my last few videos have been about dunk but I thought I'll do a proper video to tell you guys about the sizing for dunks and also the differences in terms of sizing with GS sizing, with women sizing, with men sizing because I feel like that's one of the questions that I get asked all the time is like the differences between those sizes. Um, but yeah, I didn't mention this at all in this video but in terms of sizing for dunks, I would say they're true to size. I've asked quite a few of my friends and they agree that it's true to size. However, if you do not like a snug fit, you could definitely go half a size up and you should be fine. So personally for me, um, some of them I have in a six and some of them I have in a six and a half men's and I prefer the fit of the six and a half men because like I said, I don't really like a very snug fit and my socks are usually quite thick. So. To be on the safe side, if you can't get half a size up, I don't think that would be a bad thing at all. But if you went true to size, you'll be fine as well. So yeah, that is going to be my next video and also, wait, there may be a vlog before that. But if you do see that dunk video, there will most likely be a giveaway in that video. So make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on that video when it does come out or when I film it and upload it. So yeah guys, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to use my Farfetch discount code because I don't know if I'll get another Farfetch code next month. So use this one while you can. I feel like I'm gonna try use my own discount code. Maybe I'll get my mom to use my discount code. Also, I now have a PO box 
and I don't think I mentioned this in any of my videos but I've had it for quite a few weeks now and I've been leaving it in the description bar so if you guys want to send me anything feel free to send it to that PO box and I would love to do an unboxing on my channel even if you guys want to like write me a letter or like send me snacks or something like that um, that would be really fun for me to unbox it you know in one of my vlogs um, but yeah guys that is pretty much it for today video if you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up and like I mentioned before don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will have a giveaway in my upcoming video maybe I'll post a vlog first and then I'll post the actual video but yeah I will definitely be doing a dunk giveaway and yeah thank you so much to Lawrence for helping me film uh, the video and all the b-roll that you guys saw that was shot by Lawrence I think he's super talented and also the music in the intro is by Isaac I think he makes really good music so you guys should go check him out on SoundCloud as well and uh, yeah I think that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys really really soon bye